What's up, people? It's Kali Obasa here again on thiskaliobasa.com and welcome to this episode of Dodo Vibes. I want to thank you for your feedback and the emails that have been coming through uh, for the past week. I enjoy reading them. Thank you so much. Um, unfortunately, I would not be able to respond to every single one of them, but please keep them coming. I will try my best to get across to every single one of you um, if I can. But thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate the emails. Listen, on today's episode of Dodo Vibes, I want to talk about our reputation as Nigerians. The legend of the Nigerian passport. What happens when you pull out that passport? Let me ask you a question. What comes to mind if you hear the word Nigeria or Nigerians? Think about it. I don't know about you, but many people have told me fraud or fraudulent activities. No, you don't agree? Why then are we often associated with it? The answer is quite simple. When we do it, it makes the news and it makes the news because it's huge. Now, I really do not want to jump on the bandwagon of those peddling hush puppy news because it's been big news of late. But he has allowed himself to be made an example, right? I have seen a few videos of Hush Puppy and some of them are just wow. You know, when someone does something real stupid and you just shake your head and say wow, that's what I call shake head wow. And some of the videos I've seen of Hush Puppy are just shake head wow. Going on a massive shopping spree and having a bellhop push a cart full of designer gear behind you while you walk in front like a king, like a celebrity. Wow. Flaunting ill-gotten wealth on social media. Social media, people, accessible by the whole world. Wow. Dedicating a full video to your cologne collection. Wow. Shake head wow. Like I said, this episode is not about Mr. Hush, but show me a video of Bill Gates showing off his cologne or perfume collection. Oh, Bill is no longer the richest man in the world? I have you seen any video of Jeff Bezos showing off his collection of perfumes or colognes or his shirt collection or any damn collection? No. Takes me back to my point. When Nigerians do fraud, it's huge. Because the fraudsters flaunt it. Pure and simple. You must be stupid to think flaunting is the only way to show well. Let me tell you what. Flaunting puts the authorities on notice. And when they're on notice and you're not legit, they will bust you. And when they bust you, that's another nail to the Nigerian coffin. If you don't understand how this affects normal people like me, a million others with Nigerian names. Let me tell you another story. So it was summer 2008. Uh, it was actually my birthday and I was picked up by one of my in-laws and his fiance, both white people. We had gone somewhere for a drink and on the way back home, I let him drive. I guess he, had, he must have changed lanes without indicating or something but we were pulled over by the police. As usual, one of the couples walked to the driver's side window and when my in-law rolled down, the police asked, why are you driving like a lunatic? And my in-law gave him one of those, oh, I'm sorry, officer, I'm not quite familiar with this area spiel, right? Although that seemed to satisfy him. He, he noticed me in the backseat. I obviously caught his attention. So he goes, hey, can I see your ID? I'm thinking, what? I'm not even the one driving. You're joking, right? I'm thinking, what hot buttered kind of bullshit is this? I didn't say nothing, though, because I didn't want to make the nine o'clock news. So I complied and I gave him my driver's license. And he obviously notices the Nigerian sounding name. So he, um, so he takes my ID and guess what he does? 
He walks back to his patrol car, obviously to verify my status because I don't know, a lot of Nigerians carry fake driver's licenses and boldly hand them over to the police, right? We don't do that. Who does that? But I don't blame him because that's what he must have been thinking. Why? It's our reputation, pure and simple. It's the reputation we project out there to the world that we are fraudsters. It's hard to swallow, but it's the truth. You know, an Arab friend once told me, it's better to be a Nigerian and be thought of as a fraudster than to be an Arab and be thought of as a terrorist. I agreed with him then. Now, not so much. Because when you show your identity as a Nigerian, you need to observe how authorities get nervous, how banks and bank officials get nervous, how the Employees of Western Union and other money transfer institutions get nervous. Employers, how they get nervous. But Nigerians are just hardworking, brilliant and cool people. Let me share an example of such Nigerian with you. Good evening, fellow Nigerians. My name is Ikenna Steve Weke. I am from Okos village in Amozara, in the Salam Bada local government area of Imo State. I'm a PhD student and a teaching assistant at the University of Tsukuba in Ibaraki Prefecture in Japan. Here is my story. On the 19th of June 2020, as I was coming back from the university at around 7 p.m., I wanted to buy kebab for my wife. When I approached the shop around the Tsukuba Center, I saw a wallet, a huge purse, and I picked it up. When I opened it, it contained a huge sum of money, credit card and other valuables. What I did immediately was to start thinking about the owner of the money. I was sure the, person, the owner was looking for the money. I was sure the owner was heartbroken. Then I took the money to the police station. On getting to the police station, the police officer asked me why I did not take the money. I told him I was raised by a decent family and that my faith as a Christian forbade me from taking anything. Then I handed over everything to him. He took my information and everything about me and then told me about my rights as somebody who had found something that was missing. He told me that I was entitled to 10% of the money and that if the person, the owner of the money does not, didn't come to pick the money after three months, that the whole money would be mine. Both offers were rejected by me. I rejected those offers because I'm a Christian. I rejected that, those offers because I was raised by a very decent family. I rejected those offers because I'm a, I'm a Nigerian. In Nigeria, we are a people that are selfless, known for dedication, known for honesty, known for good virtues. So when I rejected both offers, they took everything about me and I went home. Three days later, the owner of the money called me and appreciated me. He had been calling me, he even called me two days ago and probably I'm sure I will have the time to spend with him in the future. Now, the police after some days sent me a letter appreciating me for my kind-hearted gesture. Here is a message for every Nigerian. We are a people that should maintain, protect the image and the integrity of our nation, wherever we are, especially those in diaspora. We are the Nigeria that people know. When we do something bad abroad, it reflects on the image of the nation. And here is a message for non-Nigerians who think that every Nigerian is a criminal. That is not true. Nigeria is a country of about 200 million people. 200 million wonderful people. There are some criminal elements in Nigeria, I must admit. And these criminal elements are also found in every part of the world. These criminal elements in Nigeria are just a tiny fraction. They do not represent who we are. They do not speak for us. And they are not a true reflection of who Nigerians are. Thank you very much. So this guy lives in Japan. Normal guy, nothing special. But many Nigerians will actually do what he's just done. But there's this assumption in many quarters that many Nigerians wouldn't. Why? Why is that? You know, a friend of mine recently walked into a bank to open an account. And after going through the necessary paperwork, they asked to see her ID. 
So she's brought out her British passport. And the bank official then asked if she's got proof of residency in the UK. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? I'm not making this shit up. Proof of residence. God damn it, you are holding a British passport. Do you know what that means? One of the most powerful documents in the world. What more proof do you want? Very rightly, my friend reported the incident to the police. But I can tell you what happened. The bank official noticed the Nigerian sounding name on the British passport. And that itself raised a red flag. Why? Why? I don't blame them though, because it's our reputation. But that's unfair because not all Nigerians get into that. I don't get into that kind of funky shit. Neither do the people I know. And it's the case with millions of other Nigerians. You know, there are several other instances of innocent Nigerians carrying the sins of just a few Nigerians who have created this reputation. Several instances. My friends, it's going to be a short one today. Um, I just felt really compelled to talk on this whole Nigerian fraudster reputation and how it affects innocent Nigerians like me and so many millions of others who are just doing their jobs and going home. But I'm going to leave you with a few dodos. I don't in any way support fraud. But if you have to do it and you're cool with the consequences, don't flaunt it. If you have to flaunt, build a school, build a library, or just go to town and bless a couple people with your wealth. Because if you get caught, that's another nail in the Nigeria coffin. We are tired of being tarred by that brush. Number two, strive. Work hard. Work real hard. Strive again to build a decent, law-abiding life. There's more to life than stealing and defrauding others. Listen, what you do behind closed doors, alone with your old little laptop, reverberates throughout the world and affects Nigerians in the US, in the UK, in Hong Kong, in Israel, Germany, wherever. It leaves a legacy affecting our kids. Anybody with a Nigerian surname, some justified by saying they are defrauding the government. That makes no sense. There's a talent buried in each of us. Utilize it. When in Nigeria, be a good citizen. When outside Nigeria, guess what? Be a good citizen. Number three, and this is for the authorities. Not all Nigerians are fraudsters. What's wrong with you? Nigerians are proud, hardworking, and uber intelligent people. We are good people. Nigeria is the home of JJ Okocha, uh, Wale Shoyinka, Fela Kuti, Aliko Dangote, Diskole Obasa. <laughs> That's sports, literature, entertainment and business. Come on, we're not bad people. Just a few of us are, just like you find anywhere else in the world. Nigerians are not bad people. Get to know them. Get to understand them before you judge them as criminals. And finally, um, to the Nigerian government, this is a plea, really. I know they're trying really hard to clean up our image abroad, and I know it's all in our hands as Nigerians living abroad, but whatever else they can do will be welcome. I don't care what it is. If, if we have to change the current passport from green to yellow or, or whatever, because that passport, that current passport, has suffered reputational damage severely. And that is the one document people will look at and judge you by. As a Nigerian, oh my God, Nigerian passport, green passport, boom, this guy, now fraud star. So my time is up, guys. I've got to go. Join me for episode three, which will be dropping on the 30th of July. And I'll be talking about, guess what? Black Lives Matter. You don't want to miss it. Don't forget to follow me on my social media handles. On Instagram, I am at this call your pasta. On Facebook, I am this call your pasta. And on, on Twitter, I am this call your pasta. I'll be grateful if you subscribe to this podcast, wherever you listen to your podcasts, Spotify, Apple TuneIn Radio, SoundCloud, 
If you have any questions or feedback, you can send them to me on my email, Kolia at thiscoliabasa.com. It's been good chatting with you today. Till next time, this is Kolia Basa, and I'm signing out.